Hey, how's it going guys? It's David again. Uh, I'm just trying to show y'all how to install or tap for a turbo oil return. Um, these blocks are 2.5s. I'm working on the Mazda Speed 3. This is going to be uh, going in that car. Um, what I'm doing here, I know it's not a lot of information out there, but I'm mixing or I'm trying out a 2.5 bottom uh, with the Mazda Speed 3 head and turbo kit stock everything um, And I'm just trying it out uh, See how you know what kind of results I get and stuff like that. I really don't mind if it blows up or not but <clears throat> on these the reason why we have to tap For oil return and oil feed is because these blocks are 2.5s or NAs and Of course, so usually they will be running off Somewhere on this side, the oil feed and return will be somewhere here, okay? In this case, we don't have one. I am using the Mazda Speed 3 or 6 um, oil pan, okay? And I'm tapping into it. So I could run a line pretty much from here and then down to the block here, okay? Usually, the best thing to do is you want to pick a spot where it kind of it's it'll be easier for the uh, the oil to return from your turbo in this case it would be see it'll be come out through here run the line it'll go into here back again to the oil pan the best thing to do of course is is try to get as high as possible to the oil pan without hitting anything on the back um lucky for me everything's out of the car so it's a lot easier to work here let me show you all right, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing here. Um, these things, you could buy, uh, I bought this one on eBay. I know it's kind of cheap, but it's, I mean, it works. It does a job. Different styles of fittings you could buy. This one right here is a screw on, so there's no welding involved. If you don't have a welder. Um, there's an other type, let me see if I can find one for you guys. Oh, there it is, okay. So it comes like this. And these are the ones that you actually have to weld on. Uh, there it is. Okay. See on the back, nothing to screw on. So you would just pretty much weld it on like so. A lot of you don't have welders out there, or, you know, or don't want to spend more money on, you know, having someone weld it. So just, I think this one a lot easier. You can find whatever fitting you like, whatever size you like. Like I said, this is 10 AN. Um, this one works well. So I just wanted to put that out there, the two different types. All right, so as you can see, uh, this is the oil pan when it, you know you take it off. So you pretty much, uh, like I said, the first thing you want to do is figure out exactly where you want to put it, um, and then kind of mark it. And then what you want to do, I mean, I always like to kind of you know see what's underneath. But in this case, I've already tried it, so this doesn't doesn't you know hit uh, the balance shaft uh, or anything like that. It doesn't. It doesn't hit anything, so I'll be okay putting it there. Um, so what you want to do, of course, is you want to grab whatever size uh, fitting you like. This is a, a 10 AN, um, and then it's going to go pretty much like this. So it's going to go from here, and then I'm going to put this fitting like so. I know it's a cheap one, but I'm, like I said, I'm just trying everything out, so I don't mind. Um, it'll be like this, uh, 45 degree band and then going back to another fitting for the turbo to the turbo okay but like I said you want to mark it first and then grab a step drill which I did um, let me see if I can find one here something like this but get the big one okay and then just go at it until you are you open it up you know you open the hole enough um, for you know the for the fitting to fit okay don't overdo it just do it uh, enough so that this will fit on there okay all right so this kit come with it comes with a uh, one that I bought just a sep uh, separate fitting just for the uh, for the tap for the oil pan uh, these come with two washers with a little rubber thing on the side right there okay so what you want to do um, is put it on the oil pan put the thing on the oil pan and then one of your washers go there but before that I do what I like doing is I put um, great RTV all around just to make sure and kind of sit it fit on there kind of like so okay 
And then on the inside, the same thing. Put your other washer on the other side, okay? And then there's a, a nut that goes on it. Um, and then you screw it on there. But I also like to put RTV inside just so it can seal up nice, nicely and not have to worry about anything. And of course, then you would just tie it up as usual, as much as you can. Not, not too much, but just snug, okay? Of course, I would tie it more than that. And it'll fit just like that. Uh, fits perfectly. Uh, doesn't hit anything here. Um, hope that helps you guys. Um, if anything I forgot, just let me know. Um, and of course, uh, sizes you can get half inch. Minimum would be uh, fitting you want to get would be a half inch or uh, best ones a five eight. And then of, of course, it's, uh, you know match up the the hoses the the oil return hose for that one. Okay, so that's how I did mine uh, on the Speed 3. Um, I will be putting up more videos of the build, see how it goes, see how it, it actually performs and holds up to boost. Um, so we'll see. Um, Alright, any questions, just let me know. Um, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Thank you.